another year. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a ride. It's been a year. It really has. Obviously, you're not going to see this until next year, but that's only a few hours away. So, ah, uh, I feel good. I have my traditional New Year's Eve tuxedo on. Yes, it is a little bit tighter than previous years. I'm not going to lie, but it's okay. 2018 has been started the year on medication, was able to come off medication, was in a relationship, was able to end the relationship, was able to manage work, be beneficial to work, get promoted, get pay rises, reunite with friends, come closer with my family, find common ground with my fellow man, and although in my free time I've spent probably 99% of it by myself, I've really been able to utilize every minute. I don't have any New Year's resolutions because I'm on a really good road. I might try and eat a little bit less chocolate, but that's definitely no resolution. For everyone going out tonight, I really hope that uh, you're able to moderate your celebrations and I really hope uh, you're able to reflect uh, from the year and bring whatever you need to from this year into next year and leave behind everything that you don't need. I mean, there's nothing different between today and tomorrow from any other day apart from a perceived perception of distance, but use it. That's a beautiful part of time and the mind, it's all fabricated. Hmm. Well. I have to go. I have celebrations to attend. Happy New Year, everybody. And yes, I am slightly freaking out, but you can hardly tell, right? First of January 2019. And after waking up, processing, getting myself out of depression, doing my exercises. I feel amazing. Got home at five o'clock in the morning. Pretty good effort, I think. Had a solid five hours sleep. Also pretty amazing. I'm very impressed with how I managed myself and situations last night. Uh, went to a friend's place for dinner where there were a number of people from my past who, although we get along, you know, there's still, you know, unspoken, not troubles, but you know what I mean. These, these people where you were once close with and now you're just not close with, but they're still very nice people and blah, blah, blah. Normal societal stuff. But before going out, uh, before making that, that video, I, you know, tried to rest as much as possible. I mean, sleeping was not able, but, you know, I rested, I tried meditating, which was a total disaster, but always a disaster. You know, I really tried to conserve my energy, knowing that I was going out and then out, dinner at a friend's place and helping cook and things there, but also doing it within my, my limits, not pushing myself, not doing extra, just, you know, doing what the date planned to do. But obviously I have a natural ability to do it without thinking. And this meant that I could sort of distance myself from the whole arrival of everyone else. There was also another thing, I arrived early, which means that you, you, you won't be ambushed by a situation, you know, you are, you are there being a part of the growing situation instead of arriving to a party with 12 people all in different states of inebriation. Did not drink at all, even though like, you know, that, oh, friends, come on, you can have a champagne, it's okay, just a champagne, it's a celebration, just have a bit and, and, and no, you know, I was happy with my juice. Then. Once dinner was over, I was sitting at the end of the table and I'd overindulged as everyone else did. And I get a wave of tiredness as most people do and they're digesting too much food. And you know, everyone's talking and crisscrossing conversation and I am no longer able to keep my awareness, but I was able to recognize this 
you know and at first i was like i didn't want to and friends was like some friends next to me were saying like hey man do you want to go you want to go lie down you can lie down on the couch there or you can go to the back room or whatever and you know at first i was like no 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 i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine you know just because you're aware of it doesn't mean it doesn't automatically happen your denial switch kicks in of no i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine uh, but then as i sat there and i thought about it i'm like no actually if they're saying that then that's a social cue that obviously uh my perceived thing that i'm projecting that i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine is not actually real and obviously there's some social cue to them that says that i'm not fine so i just decide that i'll get up quietly and leave but of course i knock into a chair and someone's got their hand in between the chair and another chair and so you know yeah classic um but then go and 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 lie down for 15 20 minutes um allow the food to digest allow myself to rest allow myself and it was really like i really disappeared into a spiral for like 15 minutes you know of all imagined anxieties and blah 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 and and yeah just bullshit but then you know came out of it yeah had a coffee had some tiramisu yeah then new year's eve started and the non-stop retardation chaos of being in berlin yeah lost faith in humanity within the first <laughs> 20 minutes of the new year um, but then went to a, a, a bar where some other friends were and uh, look, I knew the whole place was going to be full of smoke and people smoking joints everywhere. And, uh, yeah, look, I, I went in, I saw my friends there and then within two minutes was like, no, I can't stay in this environment. You know, I'm just going to go out to the front. And, uh, then I went out the front and a friend came with me and, yeah, I ordered a, a, a Long Island iced tea, which the bartender friend brought out to me, you know, which was nice. And then I sat there for the next three hours, slowly sipping a Long Island iced tea, and uh, which in hindsight was too much alcohol. It would have been, if I was inside, that would have been a very bad choice. But because I was outside and in my own little uh, space and people would come out and talk and, you know, my one friend sat there and we, we laughed really a lot, like a lot. And it was nice being able to to be, uh, I mean, yes, I had one drink, uh, so I'm not 100% sober, but I was in no way drunk. Um, I wouldn't even say I was tipsy because I literally took me two hours to drink it. But being able to, it's kind of like a placebo of joining in, you know, you're allowed to let your guards down a little bit and, and not feel so separated from everyone. And knowing that that was the only drink I'm going to have, there is no, nothing is coming after this, you know, this is, this is it. It was really nice, I have to say. Then I walked, uh, took the train halfway and then walked the rest of the way. So by the time I got home at like five in the morning, I, all the alcohol was pretty much out of my system. One thing that I have never done in my life is that before New Year's, I cleaned my whole apartment, did all my dishes, did all my washing, put everything away, and have woken up to a, a beautiful, clean, organized house in a very sober, clean state. This is now the second New Year's for me without getting intoxicated would be the word. Sober refers to being completely 100% clean. So this is my second uh, unintoxicated, non-intoxicated, not intoxicated. This is my second New Year's of not being intoxicated since I was, I don't know, 12, 13, and I'm 37. You do the maths. Pretty cool, I have to say. Feel very good. About to get ready, go see a friend who is in a very serious life threatening situation in hospital. Could not be able to do that if I had got intoxicated. And so, starting off the year with some good deeds. Like I said, I don't think I'll change anything from last year to this year. I'm on a really good road. I feel really good. <sighs> I really think staying away from drugs and alcohol is. is a big part of this. Really. Winner! 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 Winner!
tofu dinner? No, that's not so. It's not so cool. Winner, winner, gold digger. Oh, winner, winner. Fuck it. Winner. It's over. Ah.